What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. I finally got my Bass Tracker boat water ready and got to hit the lake last night and this morning. Just to go over with you what I got here, it is an 18 and a half foot uh, Tourney V Bass Tracker boat. It's got a 75 horsepower outboard four stroke on the back. This thing goes pretty fast depending on how much gear I have. It goes about 40 to 50 miles per hour. Got a nice big casting deck area on the back with a live well. Uh, up here we got a big old casting deck too. I do plan on filling in this area to make it even bigger and more storage. Up here we got the Alltrax, uh, Minn Kota Alltrax, which is pretty much the creme de la creme troll motor. I got the GPS, the uh, digital compass, puck, whatever you want to call it, installed right in front of the dash. I got it on spot lock right now. What that does is it's like an anchor. It'll keep me exactly where I press the uh, spot lock button at. Oh, maybe not exactly that, the exact spot, give or take a couple feet, but it's pretty spot on. It works pretty well. I got to thank my wife for allowing me to get this boat. It's like a dream come true. And my grandfather hooked me up with the Alltrax. He wanted me to have something really nice for this boat. And he went out of his way. I can't thank him enough. Uh, this is all like a dream come true. I've always wanted to fish. I've, out of, I've never even fished out of a bass boat. This is my first time fishing out of a bass boat. And it's my own. Uh, so that's it. Uh, go, let's go ahead and watch some footage. I'll show you how fast this thing goes when it's planed out. What it looks like when you're driving it. As well as what it's like to fish out of this thing. on the boat first bass on the new boat this Alltrex is really rocking man I'm loving it got him he feel big too Good one, fat belly on that one. Rock bass. Little rock bass. So that's two species so far. Oh. Come on, buddy. Nice little one on the Mega Bass 300 deep diving crankbait. Got him about 15 foot, 15 foot down. Going right at the boat, Pike. Another one on that deep diving crankbait. Just throwing that deep crankbait and doing a little figure eight a couple times by the boat. Got nothing, and then that little guy nailed it right at the boat. Spot lock is working good. Just like it's supposed to. Just crank it really fast to get down deep and then slow retrieve. Oh yeah, something big. Feels big. 
on that deep crankbait again. I ah, got off. No, he's still on. Another pike, another pike. Man, I really love this deep diver. A decent one. He put up a good fight, hit that deep diving mega bass 300 crankbait. Another one on the Mega Bass 300. Little guy on the Mega Bass 300. Deep diving crankbait. Thing is crushing it. Nice little dinky small mouth on the Ned Rig. Uh, looks like his eyeball, his eyeball is busted out. He tagged that one as soon as it hit the water. This might be something decent. Where he's in the weed. Good small mouth. Nice little small mouth. He swallowed that Ned rig. I don't think he's gonna make it. But hopefully he does. Oh, one came out and tagged it when I put the spotlight on. That bike. I, bet I can't tell, he's in a bunch of weeds. A little baby bike. <laughs> Five pounds of weeds on him. Oh man, I missed the blow up. Dang. Shoot, I hope I got that blow up. He did right at the boat. Whoa, man, I missed the blow up. Dang. 
shoot, I hope I got that blow up. He is right at the boat. Nice small mouth. He's hiding right under that swim pad. Know that right at the boat, I don't know if I got the blow up, but I hope I did. I don't think I did though. Good fish though. Nice tank of a smallmouth. I missed the blow up, I'm pretty sure, but he hit it right by the boat, man. I mean, he smashed it. It was really explosive. I wish I would've got the blow up, but at least I caught the fish. Good old smallmouth. On the blade waker. All right. A little chunky for a little guy. Got this one on the blade waker. Little guy put up a decent little fight. Alright, I apologize about the wind, but I wanted to get in a little bit of a uh, choppier area to test out this spot lock. Oh yeah, she's taking me right back. So even in the high wind, it's working just like it's supposed to. A lot quieter than I thought it would be too. I thought it was gonna be a lot louder, a lot more movement, but it's nice and quiet. Well, that's gonna do it for the day. I had a great day out on the water. I'm really loving this new boat. I'm probably gonna have to come up with a new YouTube name though, because I'm probably not gonna fish out of the John boat much longer. Uh, but I caught tons of fish, nothing super big. I really wish I would have got a better angle on that smallmouth blow up right at the boat this crystal clear water that would have really looked amazing but I'm still happy I got to catch the fish I'm blessed to be out on this boat this troll motor this great lake um, I caught fish on every single lure I threw today uh, the Ned rig the square bill 2.5 strike king the blade waker from Tekel, uh, the whopper plopper and then a uh, surprising one that I caught a lot on is this mega bass 300 it's a deep diving bait and it gets down to about 21 feet. This is the gizzard shad color. Also looks like a rainbow trout, but they call it a gizzard shad. Uh, but this was catching them down deep. Uh, so that was the surprise lure of the day. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy my new boat. I know I do. Still gotta make some upgrades. Eventually, maybe next year, I'll get uh, electronics and all that stuff. But this year, I'm just gonna leave it as it is for now and uh, just keep staying on these fish. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please click the like button, smash that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything to help support the channel. Keep those lines tight. Good luck out there fishing, and we'll see you next time.